Hello lovely people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in this video we are heading to Cabbage Town, which is located pretty central to Toronto. It's not downtown, it's a little bit east of downtown. And over here is a really quick transition from very early in the morning to putting on some makeup and fun earrings because this is the Halloween week and just heading out. I do have to say I used to go to school actually for about three months when I was in grade eight. I went to school in the area and I did not like this area. That was up over 20 years ago. And I have to say right now walking around this neighborhood, it is so much nicer, so, so much cooler so much cleaner yeah i was actually really very pleasantly surprised and definitely suggest for you to check it out so the first stop i want to talk to you about is the kendall and co we kind of stumbled upon this so this store is ridiculously amazing this is an interior design custom interior design shop and these guys they make anything custom they make custom rugs they make custom wallpaper all of these different uh books are for that if you have any kind of custom need they probably can make it in terms of like furniture as well and not only that the store has so many cool knickknacks and right now of course they're gonna have the christmas ornaments and everything in there is just with such humor and such uniqueness that i actually haven't came upon this kind of store in a while it re it definitely pl pleased me <laughs> pleased my aesthetic eye with all of the beautiful things they have over there Love this over here. So this is an armchair and it flips. So you go from sort of like a lighter tone to a darker tone. I thought that was so cool. It's actually a really great idea. I don't know why more furniture doesn't come like that. Lots of holiday items that are just so adorable. Lots of cool gifts such as beef jerky socks and meat socks and these cool Santas. And while being there, we just couldn't help ourselves. We got these gorgeous giant playing cards that are Alice in Wonderland themed. Just look at the illustrations on them. And I just love the size of it. Not sure how we're going to play them, but they're just so beautiful. And the people who worked in there were so lovely, so chatty. We even met the owner. His name is Kendall. So definitely check out these guys. The Google Maps link is going to be linked down below in the description. And it's an amazing start of the day. Over here I wanted to show you just like the construction. I think they're kind of restoring some of the houses. I did read up a little bit about Cabbage Town. So it turns out that the Cabbage Town is the largest continuous area of preserved Victorian housing in all of North America. In terms of history, Cabbage Town, where it got its name from, there were stories of the new Macedonian and Irish immigrants digging up in front of their lawns and planting cabbage when they used to live there. And that's where the name comes from. Another thing that was fun to check out is different graffiti that they have over there. And this one specifically looks like my cat. So let's continue our wandering around. So this is La Gloria Mexican coffee house and over here is different things that they have and I love the idea. I've, I've actually seen this on social media. We didn't go in because we had another place in mind that we wanted to eat at but this is definitely a great uh, stop to check out for some yummy Mexican things. So the place that we did want to eat at, this is going to be sort of our brunch. It's called Le Consulable Lab. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing this, but I'm trying. I've definitely seen some really great things about this place and I wanted to check it out. So over here, insane amount of quiches, insane amount of baked goods. They have cakes. They have also sandwiches that are not shown there that you can order. Everything looked just so fresh. This thing with caviar also looked really appetizing. So we basically got whatever felt good at the moment. And over here is the inside. It's very adorable, very cabbage town. You can see there is like a little bit of a Victorian thing happening, but we chose to sit outside because it was a really nice day. And over here, I quickly wanted to tell you about my books. So the digital formats are all on Etsy. There are three books. One is Summer, one is Weekends in Summer, and one is Fall Winter. And on Amazon, I actually have four books because there's another art book. So same books as before, but in print format. And of course, I'm going to link everything down below if you would like to check them out. So here's all of the things we got. This is for uh, me and my mom. We kind of were sampling things, so we were kind of sharing and just sitting outside. This was probably one of the last days, I think, that it's going to be this nice weather, which was amazing to sit outside and just kind of enjoy it. Matcha was really yummy. 
the quiche was amazing they it comes with salad for a little bit of extra i do recommend you get the salad because it's so artfully done with such a nice vinaigrette and the quiche itself was great the starting with fish eggs was like potatoey cream cheesy it was so good now continuing further there was a japanese street food place as we were full we didn't go in but this looks very interesting i love any kind of japanese especially street food i think it's really cool and the next stop we went to is the playground cafe it is sort of uh in the basement but it is so unique it has projections of cartoons over there in terms of food they serve croffles which is a combination of croissant and waffle and they also have a great selection of different drinks but my favorite thing about this place is the arts so they kind of have art rotating throughout the year over here i think they had like some really beautiful photography but i love the idea that it's a coffee shop and you get to check out some beautiful art very cool uh, next stop we're gonna go to is the Beastery Pet Shop and I love how the handle was dog's bowl That's very creative. So the store is really well done really beautiful very clean They have like a whole chunk where there's like a almost a tree in there They even have a turtle and the gentleman who was working there He just casually pulled out this lizard and actually I got to hold it which was a little scary yeah, so they can smell things like they have very strong sense of smell. Larger and gray ones. Gosh. Which is fine. They'll be like, uh, ah, really like defensive. Do, yeah, yeah. Right like the you. sharp uh, thing. If you can tell if you're really calm like this, you yeah. like, can really do anything with this guy. My god. So he also showed us this cool... I want to say it's a python, I think. That's what he said. But anyway, I got to touch it. It was so smooth. It was so unique. Over here is a chameleon that was just kind of chilling, very cool to see up close. And just a great store, just very good vibes, really lovely people that work there. Another amazing thing you need to check out is the Riverdale Park West, so over here is the view. Uh, there is a free parking, this is the parking for the Riverdale Farm. It, the, the view and the park are like right next to each other, so you definitely need to check it out. And the farm is beautiful right now, it's the Halloween, so they have these cool skeletons happening. And uh, free to enter, which is amazing, especially in the center of the town. And as I mentioned, parking was free too, which was also great. And if you go, just kind of wandering around. And there's just some beautiful houses, and of course, the leaves are so gorgeous right now because it's the fall time. In terms of animals, I kind of expected more, I don't know why, uh, or maybe they were kind of hiding, I don't know, but definitely there were goats, there were chickens, there was a cow, there were horses, and I think that was it. But hey, for a free farm in the middle of the city, this is pretty amazing. And there's lots of hiking paths if you have time for a hike. So we continued wandering around the Cabbage Town. Right now, as I mentioned, this is Halloween, so a lot of it, I was actually surprised, a lot of the houses were all decorated, or at least uh, there were elements that were Halloween-y, which was great because lately I haven't been seeing a lot of houses decorated, but mainly I think it's, the, again, the Victorian beautiful houses that really drew me. It, Cabbage Town is definitely different than in the majority of Toronto. Very beautiful really well kept i think all of the owners who like I, we haven't seen a single house that was not up kept it was just very beautiful and beautifully preserved and i also love this uh free yoga downward facing pickup after your dog very clever cabbage town very clever and we actually found some cabbages in front of people's uh houses i thought that was pretty hilarious of course this is decorative but it's still really cool to see that was it really for us for the Cabbage Town. It was such a beautiful place, highly recommended. And it's great to go any time of the year because you're mainly indoors, but you go a little bit outside to go from shop to shop. So perfect any time of the year. We did stop over at the Plant Society. This is a coffee shop downstairs in a beautiful plant store on the main level. This is sort of intersection, I think, Queen and Sherburne. It's a little off to the side. It's not in Cabbage Town anymore. But it's such a beautiful space that I had to include it. I'm going to, of course, link it down below so that you can also check it out. The parking, though, in this area of town is uh, Green Pea, which was not very expensive.
So I hope you enjoyed this Cabbage Town vlog. If you know any other cool Cabbage Town places, write it down below. I would love to check them out next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you next time.